Hey, it's time for math class. Welcome to lesson one, manufacturing math, or as we like to call it, the art of industrial sculpture. Now, you may already know there are huge opportunities in manufacturing right now. The United States especially is in the midst of a blue collar comeback. And amid all the gloomy news about the economy, did you hear that the U.S. added almost 225,000 new manufacturing jobs last year in the down year 2011? It is predicted that somewhere around 800,000 new manufacturing jobs will open up between now and 2015. For a lot of good reasons, American manufacturing and American manufacturing opportunity is on the rise. Not only that, but you probably also heard factory jobs pay well. And there's always plenty of challenge. So all in all, the future of manufacturing jobs is bright. But here's the sad part of that happy tale. Do you know what's holding back a lot of people? keeping them from claiming great jobs in America's clean, new, high-tech factories? Math. Yeah, math. And it's frustrating to employers and job hunters alike, but here's the truth. The new factory floor requires math skills, and manufacturers are having a hard time finding people who can compute. So if that's where you find yourself, if you get the blue-collar comeback and you like to work in manufacturing, but you just haven't learned the math yet, we believe we can help. Now, let's face it. Most of us aren't all that good at math. But here's something you may not have thought about. You can be good at math. You can do this. And you can do it surprisingly quickly. Because the first thing you have to think about is why so many of us don't do well in math. If you're not a math natural, if your brain processing doesn't just naturally take to math's abstractions, chances are you think you're not good at math. And you know why? Most of us who struggle with math, and especially those of us who struggled with math in school, probably had no idea how we'd ever use it. You see, among all the subjects you might have ever taken in school, math might be the most theoretical, right? I mean, whoever uses fractions for anything? Oh, sure, you throw around percentages now and then, especially if you're a sports fan. But really, algebra? Geometry? Calculate the area of a rhombus? you got to be kidding me. Most of us don't get it because we can't imagine how we'll ever use it. And let's face it, raw math is hard. Raw math is hard. What's raw math? It's math without meaning. It's math you have to learn just because you have to learn it. It's just numbers on a page. We say that raw math has no framework, no concrete basis for you to relate to. Well, guess what? Manufacturing math is completely different from raw math. Manufacturing math has a framework. The factory is your framework. And in the factory, the math supports the work. So that's how we treat it too. See, we don't start with math and then leave you to drift about how to apply it. We start with the machines, with the manufacturing processes, and then use math to support them. The math supports the manufacturing, not the other way around. You're not just going to learn fractions. You're going to use them. In fact, you're going to need them. You're not just going to learn decimals and coordinates and metric to English conversions. You're going to use all of them. And if it sounds overwhelming, be at peace. This is not your high school algebra class. We think you'll be surprised, maybe even shocked at how easy it is to learn math, something you might hate right now once you see how it actually works. But for the moment, let's put math out of the picture. Instead, let's start with something that probably doesn't seem like it involves math at all, but it does. It's the big picture of manufacturing math. It's how stuff gets made, or as we like to call it, the art of industrial sculpture. Now, if you watch old movies or car commercials, you might think stuff gets made like this. You pour a whole bunch of ingredients into a factory, and you shake them up, and then boxes of stuff comes out. But actually, it's exactly the opposite. Manufacturing is much more like the art of sculpting. You start with the raw material, and then you cut away anything that isn't the thing you're trying to make. With artistic sculpting, you might start with a block of marble or a block of wood, and then you cut away everything that's not your art object. In manufacturing, you may use iron or plastic or wood or some form of metal, but the process is exactly the same. And the key in both cases, in sculpting and in manufacturing, the big idea is very simple. It's figuring out how much to cut away. That's the big secret of manufacturing math. It is all about starting with the raw material and then figuring out how much to cut away. Once you grasp that, You've got the big picture of manufacturing math. From there, it's just about learning the details, and you can do it. Ready? Great.
let's get going. Our mission is to help you learn the math behind the latest manufacturing techniques. So here's what we'll do. We'll do everything we can to make manufacturing math simple. It's not easy, but we'll do all we can to simplify. And we need you to do two things. We need to have a little faith. Trust us to help you pick up these concepts quickly. And turn on your imagination. You're going to need to see things a little bit differently than maybe you normally do, and certainly different than you probably did in your math classes at school. You can do this. We can help. And we're looking forward to the rest of this video series. Thanks. We'll see you in the next video.